Welcome to Projects for All. My name is Mike, and today, today we have Purdy's Painter Specific Storage Box System. This is three boxes, no additional accessories on the website. They're IP65 rated. They are two large boxes, extra large, and a suitcase. And they have a couple painting specific features. But for the most part, they're just big cavernous toolboxes to hold a lot of stuff, which is good because I have an insane amount of painting stuff that is in cardboard boxes directly behind you. And the disorganization is pissing me off. So today we're gonna put that stuff in here, see what you can fit and have a look at these things. See if they might be right for you. Let's start with the roller and we'll look at the other ones next. The roller has nine inch rubberized wheels on it. Nice and big. Handle folds pretty low. Low enough to where it fits under the bed of the bed cover in my pickup truck because this came home in my pickup truck and it folds pretty short. 19 inches to be exact. Extends up to 41 inches, which is a pretty comfortable height to tip this and pull it around. On the back here next to the handle, there's two holes for extension poles. On the front side, you got two plastic latches, metal bars. I like this set because it's basic. It is lightweight. It's not crazy thick plastic, and it doesn't need to be because it's going to hold painting stuff. It's not meant to hold power tools all the way to the top, you know, or 80 pounds of weight. It comes with a tool tray and a big empty cavernous toolbox. The inside is about 20 inches by just under 12 and a half. And to the top, the lid, you're about 14 and a half inches. So you get a lot of space here. There's indexed slots, so you can put this in a few different positions, in the front, in the back, or in the middle. And it locks in there and it won't slide around. Got a handle on top, obviously. The retention system is also nice and basic just a metal bar that's all you really need for something i don't want to say light duty but not meant for crazy heavy duty it indexes with these round spots and it's really easy to find where it's supposed to be these i find you just lift up a little bit and they go right in there one on either side that's it here's the middle extra large has exactly the same dimensions as the first one, just no wheels. Comes with one hanger, four paint brushes, so you're not bending any bristles or getting things jammed up, and there is a divider. Very flexible divider that fits into the bottom in a groove. It has all the same basic features as the first one, except this one is very, very lightweight. Can you hear that cicada? I really, really hate cicadas. Last but not least, we have the suitcase. You get an extension pole holder, wet brush and roller cover bin, dedicated brush storage, replaceable all-terrain wheels, IP65 rated, featuring two extra large toolboxes. Suitcase, there's your storage bin. They, put, they give you some partitions, so if you want to put screws in here or something like that, you can. It's about 19 inches on the inside. Dimensions on this one about 20 and a quarter by about 12 and a half and about three and three quarters deep. Lid locks down. Very nice. Let's see what we can fit in these things. So really what's going on here is mass disorganization by both me and my wife, really. We're both, we're the same person. And what we do is we can't find something because it's a mess. So we go out and buy more because it really isn't that expensive. One more roller isn't gonna kill you. And we end up with just stuff we've never used and tons and tons of supplies, tiling tools mixed in with paint tools. And you know damn well I bought one of these recently because I couldn't find this one because it was in here. And it's time to organize. Time to organize. <laughs> I think that's the one I just bought. <laughs> oh, brother. We're gonna need another toolbox for tiling stuff. If I can't fit it in here, we don't need it. That's my, that's my theory. 
We'll see how that goes. This is 20 years of home ownership. Owned a two flat for 10 years. A lot of work had to go into that. The crazy thing about this is I probably have double this amount of stuff. There's definitely another box or two in the basement that we haven't unpacked that has painting supplies. So I know we're missing stuff, but this is version 1.0. We got stir sticks, five and ones, and miscellaneous opening paint tools. Some plastic drop cloths, some light plastering stuff. We got roller covers of every size. We got roller frames of every size. We got roller covers that aren't rollers or covers. I have a lot more caulk in the house. We'll just have to shove that in there afterwards. Got this long skinny roller frame. We'll just leave it in there. It's the extension pole that I went to Sherwin-Williams to buy. This has eh, mixed reviews online, we'll say. I don't know. I gave it a chance anyway. We'll see if I have any trouble with this lockup mechanism, which is what people seem to be complaining about. You guys tell me. Bad idea? We'll find out. The two to four footer is exactly what I wanted though, because we got eight foot ceilings in my house and I'm six feet tall and we don't really need a giant pole. It kind of just gets in the way. Here's the other big box. Paint brushes. I like how this comes off and you can just pull it off, grab one off of there and then slap it back in there real easy. It fits in the notches, same as the pull out toolbox. Got the painting cup, got my collection of half used drywall tapes. And all my drywall and tools are in here. It's quite the collection of drywall and tools. This is a direct result of losing one and buying another one and replacing it and then finding it later. I am famous for that. And we got the suitcase. Suitcase, assortment of sanding blocks, painter's tape, in this, I went with just some basic hand tools, screwdrivers, Phillips and flat, a small flat for outlet covers, electrical tool, because I always have to remove like something from the ceiling. Some light fixture has to come down every time we paint. Flashlight seems to make sense. And I threw a tape measure in here because you can always use a tape measure. And there you have it. This is all I feel I need to paint a room. So you guys tell me what you think. For me, this was a very nice option, I think. $260 is what I paid for this. With the discount, there are other options, lots of them. You got Ryobi, Craftsman. Ryobi is probably your closest alternative to this. I think it was 220 bucks for three boxes, but you would get a medium size here instead of a large, you would get a smaller box. The Bauer and Craftsman are a lot cheaper. I have not seen the Craftsman in person. The Bauer looks dimensionally smaller to me. I looked at one in the store the other day and they looked small. The Milwaukee and Flex are 300 bucks, which is not too much more than this, but those are heavy. You would get a smaller toolbox and a suitcase and they are a lot heavier than this. This is big and it's lightweight. It is not built as strong as the Flex or the Milwaukee are, but the weight savings for moving this stuff around, if you don't need that extra durability, this might make sense. So you guys tell me, it's all about your opinion and what you guys think, because what I think might be totally different from what you think. So hit me up in the comments, let me know. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate it always. I'll see you in the next video.